In this video, we are going to learn about the items in Mopac. There are different type of items in the library to fit your needs. Responsive scenes are super smart adopter. Let's say you decided to use one of them to promote something and you need it for different screen resolutions. First, you need to open a composition, then click on a thumbnail of an item. The template will be added to your composition with the same size. Do you need it in a vertical format? Not a problem at all. Or a square one. It will adapt perfectly to any resolution. You need to click twice on the item to customize it. All items has similar setup. You'll have a settings layer, which allows you to adjust colors and other options. You can double click on a text to change it. You're going to see some placeholders if images are used. To replace it, first import your image to After Effects. Then make sure you're in the placeholder composition and drop your image here. Adjust the size and position. You'll see another composition called Sample Image. If you download the sample image from the link and drop it to the Sample Image comb, you'll have exactly same scene with the preview. You can download all these images that are used in the templates from the link in the PDF guide. Let's add another type of item. Titles, lower thirds, and callouts have similar features. These items are responsive too. If you change any text position, it will adapt to the change. They have separate intro and outro animations. That means you can control their timing easily. Just click at the edge of the layer and extend its duration as you need. That's all. No need to deal with keyframes. Another cool feature is that you can change the animation speed as you wish. All you need is to select one of the options. In the same way, click twice on the item to customize it. Let's have a look on color effects. First open your scene, then click one of them to apply it. If nothing is selected, it will apply to whole composition. You can see the results side by side and set the white and black points to make the setup lighter or darker or change its strength. You can explore for color inspiration with hundred of hand-picked color palettes and it's very easy to apply them to layers. Select a layer on your scene and click on a color to apply it. You can hold the Alt key for fills color or Shift key for stroke color. These buttons will allow you to add the colors to your scene as a reference, so you can use them later if you need. You can apply all colors to the selected layers randomly. There are tons of useful small tools to increase your productivity, dealing with keyframes and layers, or improve your animation and design techniques. We'll learn about them on another video.